Hi, and welcome to part one of our presentation on stocking rates in the Northern Gulf region of Queensland. My name is Olivia Pisani, and I'm a Beef Extension Officer with the QDAF Far North and Northwest Fuji Beef Team. This stocking rate presentation has been developed through the Savannah Plan Program in partnership with the Northern Gulf Resource Management Group. Savannah Plan and the Property Mapping and Infrastructure Programs focus on the long-term viability of Northern Gulf beef enterprises. Right, so we're all on the same page. A stocking rate is the number of hectares per adult equivalent, or AEs, required for a given time period, say the dry season, to achieve desired pasture utilisation levels and animal performance. The term adult equivalents, or AEs, refers to different classes of animals and the amount they eat compared to the intake needs of a 450 kilo steer. For a lactating cow, remember to add 0.35 of an AE to her live weight rating. In other words, a 450 kilo cow with a calf at foot is 1.35 AEs. The daily intake of forage is measured in dry matter and expressed as a percentage of body weight. Depending on feed quality and digestibility, cattle will eat between 1.5 to 3% of their body weight in dry matter per day. When on highly digestible feedlot rations, cattle will eat up to 3% of their body weight in feed per day. Young, leafy pasture is palatable and easily digested, allowing stock to consume around 2.5% of their body weight per day. However, late, dry season feed takes longer to digest in the rumen, meaning cattle can only consume around 1.5% of their body weight of poor quality feed per day. So, on average, a 450 kilo steer will eat approximately 2% of his body weight, or around 10 kilos of dry matter per day, which equates to around 3.65 tonnes of dry matter per year. Now, if cattle are fed a wet season phosphorus supplement or a dry season urea based lick, daily pasture or feed intakes can increase by 25%. There are other factors that influence how you set your stocking rates. Firstly, there's a the land type. A land type is an area of grazing land with a characteristic pattern of soil slope and vegetation. Land type characteristics and rainfall influence the amount and quality of pasture produced. Then there's land condition, which is a relative measure of the health and productivity of a particular land type. It has four components, all of which can be assessed, measured and monitored. These are soil surface condition, pasture composition, native woodland thickening and exotic weeds. Land condition is scored using the ABCD land condition scoring framework. A condition is where that particular land type is at 100% capacity to produce useful forage. B condition is 75%, C condition 45% and D condition is a mere 20% of its original carrying capacity. When calculating stocking rates, it is essential to factor in distance to water and how evenly the stock can graze the paddock. Ideally, cattle should not have to walk more than one kilometre to water. However, the average beef business cannot afford to overcapitalize on water infrastructure. On most golf properties, permanent waters every four to six kilometres, providing cattle with a two to three kilometre grazing range is more affordable meaning the stocking rate should be calculated to the area effectively grazed, not the area of the paddock. Generally, stocking rates in larger breeder paddocks are set with little variation from year to year. Each year, you will know whether your stocking rates are okay by looking at cover and old stubble left in November or December. Bare paddocks may indicate you are running too many cattle. The residual pasture and ground cover in this photo will help you make the best use of first storms by minimising runoff and soil loss and maximising water infiltration for grass growth. Through the combination of producer, DAF and Northern Gulf Resource Management Group experience, the following table was produced as a general stocking rate guide for the beef industry in Northern Queensland. It estimates safe and productive long-term stocking rates for each broad land type in the Northern Gulf. However, it assumes reasonable distance to water, good land condition, 3P pasture species, which are palatable, productive and perennial, and wet season spelling to maintain or increase the 3P grasses. 
In part two of this series, we will explore and compare the economics of high and more conservative stocking rates. For further information about stocking rates, please contact myself or any other Beef Extension Officer at your local DAF office. Alternatively, if you are interested in a stock take workshop or the new stock take app, please contact our stock take coordinator, Megan Willis, with DAF in Charts Towers. Thank you.